Hello everyone, this is Diane. I think this is going to be a short video. I went to uh, a vendor mall, antique mall, something like that. Um, I did not know I'd be doing that today, but we were right there. So I was with my daughter-in-law and we stopped in and I got a few things. So I'm going to show them to you. And like this bag right here, I don't even know what what I got, but it was a good price, so I got it. And I thought, well, we're going to have fun going through it. Let's start with this. It had to go in a bag because when the cashier picked it up, picked this box up, everything spilled out. Couldn't get it back in so that it could close. But it is press. Press Tong D paper fasteners with the rolled edge, it says. It says 50 sets, and I don't know how many are left in here, but I already have some of these. I need to use them, but I didn't want to pass up an opportunity to get more. So you'd put your papers, put punch holes in your papers and put them on this, and then put this on top of the papers. You probably know how these work. Put this down. And slide those over. And put this down. And slide that over. So that holds your paper secure. So I want to make some fun things for junk journals with these. So there's a bunch here. And I got some saver books. Like they're all green stamps. Don't know if I've ever seen these kind of books though. I paid $2.50 for all of these. So yeah, it's not it's not even a book, it's like an accordion folded paper. And that's what they are. Looks like they all have stamps in them, and there's a few loose stamps. There's a lot here. I'll probably put some of these in my shop. got a pack of newer flashcards. They have a barcode. Um, and I this isn't something I get excited about, but I did love the colors on these, and I like that it's matte on one side, glossy on one side, but matte on this side. And I like, did I say I like the colors? So these will be great in doing golden books and kids reader books and stuff like that. So I'm just going to put them in this box right now. If they fit. Yep. These are some of the flashcards I showed you in the ephemera video. Where do I get my ephemera video? I picked up three of these books. They weren't marked. But he said if they're on those bookshelves where I got them from and they're not marked, he said he always says a dollar. And I said that's what I was hoping you'd say. Um, here's a card I can use. Registration card. So it's just a children's dictionary that, you know, I could use the pages, but I thought I would use these. I've had these before, the covers, to make blue books out of. So that's what I thought I would do with those. I've never seen this, the Golden Magazine for boys and girls, and it was only a dollar. Why isn't there a date on it? March 1966. It's older than it looks because it's in good good condition. Quick on the draw.
making kites. Jokes by Cracky. Well, look at the zebra and lion cutouts. You can do like a 3D display. That's cool. And ballet beauties, little paper dolls. So I saw this page. I didn't see this one, but I really like this too. And the Francie page. I can put that in the Barbie journals that I haven't done yet. Yeah, this is a cool magazine. That was worth a dollar. And the only other thing I got was this bag of books. There was a bag like this, it was a black bag with vintage sewing patterns in it, but it was wrapped up tight around the pattern and taped and I couldn't open it and it was $10 and I couldn't even see how many patterns were in it and all I could see was one pattern on the front. I'm thinking if you expect somebody to pay $10, they ought to be able to see the patterns. They ought to be able to see what they're getting. So I didn't get it and I have enough patterns anyway. But this was $3 for six Whitman's books. And I could have opened this one. This one isn't taped shut, but I didn't because I thought $3 was worth the fun we would have to be surprised, to open it up together and look at it. I remember this cartoon, or it's not really a cartoon, it was puppets. Maybe it was a cartoon with a puppet. I don't remember. Um, this is in bad shape, but Beanie and Cecil, is it Cecil or Cecil? I don't remember that much. I didn't watch it much, but I do remember seeing it. This book is 1954, Cecil. I think it's Beanie and Cecil. And he was like a sock puppet. It's cute. And this is in bad shape and this is kind of rubbed off, but I thought if the covers weren't in good enough shape, I could at least cut images out. This is Chicken Little, 1958. I think it's 1958. Has some cute pictures. Winnie the Pooh and the Unbouncing of Tigger. Nineteen seventy four. Circus Alphabet. I got six books for three dollars. That makes them fifty cents a piece. Nineteen fifty four. That's adorable. I've never seen this one. Cute. Fuzzy Friends in Mother Goose. It's a fuzzy wuzzy book, so there's some flocking on the black sheep. There's a little part of the cover removed there. 1952. There's some flocking on. I guess any of the black animals will be flocked. That's a cute idea. There's no flocking on this page. That's cute. And the elves and the shoemaker. Nineteen Um I don't know. I'm tired and I have a headache and I can't think. MCM L X X V so it's 1990, I don't think so. Anyway, I mean 90 something. I wasn't done with it, but I don't think that's what it is. So I have to, I have to look that one up. 
So that's what I got. Um, they're all telltale books, but these two are a little smaller. I wonder if this is newer than what I said. No, nope, that's the only date, date on it. It doesn't have barcodes. So that's what I got. Tell me what you like about this haul. I know it was a small one, but I'm really trying not to bring home stuff. But it is fun. This is the same size. Oh, yeah. This is a Whitman Tell-A-Tale, and this is Whitman. Yeah, they're Whitman Tell-A-Tales, too. Just different sizes, but I think these are older. All right, that's, that's enough babbling. <laughs> I've got to go sit down and see if this headache will go away. I just wanted to show these to you. I wanted to go through this bag. So I'll be back. I have to uh, take those ephemera pieces that you're going to see, that you've already seen maybe in a video, and actually start adding them into this book. So we're going to do that together in the next video. I'll see you soon. Have a creative day. Bye.